This week on the Cruising Kiwis. So New Zealand's just announced a lockdown for four weeks. Uh, we think it's going to be imminent here in Queensland. So I am just making a call. Of, today's Monday. I've booked on Friday to go back in, even though the boat's not going to be ready. It is what it is. We've gone for a wrap. Uh, and I tell you what, and it's, the, I, I really like it. I think it looks a lot smarter. It does. It's well, been a labour of love, hasn't it, boys? Oh, it's been fun. Good fun. Can you show me, Ivan Declan, without words, just using your face? Show me how much fun it's been. This is Rob, and I'm Rachel, and these are our boys Finn, Declan, and Ivan. We have sailed our catamaran Javelo across the Pacific Ocean. We would love it if you join us for the adventure. So New Zealand has just announced a lockdown for four weeks. Uh, we think it's going to be imminent here in Queensland. So I am just making a call. Of, today's Monday. I've booked on Friday to go back in, even though the boat's not going to be ready. And the first thing I have to do, I've just gone ahead and bought two alternators that were damaged in the lightning strike. Uh, the insurance said they'd only replace the anodes tentatively. But we need the whole, a lot of advice says we have to change the whole alternator, both of them. And uh, we need the alternator if we're going to go back, and that's minimum, we've got to get power from the engine to charge the batteries. Solar's out, limited wind, uh, one of the two winds is out, so we need these. So I'm going to put them in out after six weeks of waiting, doing nothing virtually. It's all go. What are you doing, Declan? Putting the last coat on the top sheet. And what is that stuff? Just pretty much like anti valve, but it's better. Looks good. Smells great. Enjoying the smell? Yep. That's the new alternator. That's going to go in there. I don't know what I'm doing. I've got the, uh, the, um, the uh, what do you call it? That thing, <laughs> that's come off, and uh, the heat exchanger, and the manifold is off, I had the bits and pieces done. And look at this, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I reckon I can do this, absolutely. <laughs> so I've taken it upon myself to change the lights. I'm fed up brushing my teeth by torchlight. So I took it upon myself to go and get lights for that. I'm not going to be in lockdown and in darkness because we don't know how long that's going to last. So I sourced a whole load of lights from a guy because wow you can pay a lot of money for your uh, cabin lights and your ceiling lights. Um, but we sourced somebody who was selling really lovely lights and the crazy thing here it just so happened that he was a homeschooler and uh, so he got uh, Ivan, who was on his own then before Declan came back, he got Ivan um, and Rob out to do some forest schooling and also um, with another family to do some leather work. It was fantastic. They have their own website actually. Uh, I'll put that up. My website on the uh, long bottom there. Ivan made a little key ring, which was really, really nice. Um, but his name's Simon and he's also a marine electrician so in all this chaos we have not been able to get anybody so 
So we gave Simon a call and he has very graciously, he's a busy guy, but he's very graciously come to help us get ourselves prepared. He's putting in our VHF, he's putting in our Raymarine uh, instruments and he is redoing all our external navigation lights. So, yeah, so that's left me time to put in our internal lights and get us all tickety boo there. And that's what I'm doing. Okay, so the alternator is fitted and done and it's ready to rock and roll and roar. The problem is I didn't film a jack squat because I, well I did film it, but I didn't film it, I didn't push the record button. So I'm sorry about that. And boy, it was a job of great finesse and skill and enterprise. You would have been very impressed. <clears throat> it's looking good. From my position where I'm looking at it, it's looking real good. And you're going to be impressed when you see it too. What do you think of that? Um, while we're here, the uh, just another thing that we've been, we've decided to take a, it's a big call. So every boatyard we've visited, in fact, even friends and people who've seen the boat, they've said, boy, that, uh, that hull's oxidized. You really need to deal with that. And uh, we dealt, we've dealt with it till now by giving it a buff every time we, we hauled out. It's never really done the job right, and the experts have said you're gonna to have to repaint this thing. So, at the last time we were at New Zealand, we had a quote for 20 grand, and we just could not do it. Now that we're out, we thought with the mast possibly being out, we might consider it again because there's a big cost with the mast as part of that. Um, the mast doesn't have to come off, so we've discovered though there's another option, and that being a wrap. It's basically a giant sticker, a vinyl um, plastic basically wrap going through this process of decision making it's much cheaper which kind of brought me into it uh, this is looking at around about 7k so we've gone with that the next decision is what you do because you can do anything with the wraps you can do any design colors anything um, myself and Finn uh, maybe we're a bit conservative I'm surprised how conservative I am actually I wanted to go with white Rachel who's just been buoyant and out there uh, wanted some sort of design as did Declan so it became tall and Ivan had the deciding vote. He said he wanted some design, some colour. So we've gone with that. Yeah. Anyway, we've gone for, it is what it is. We've gone for a wrap. Uh, and I tell you what, and it's, I, I really like it. I think it looks a lot smarter. It does. It looks a lot cleaner. And it, it gives the boat a new lease of life. Yeah, and I have to admit, I've come around to it. It looks good. It does look really good, folks. The wrap does. And that's a wrap. What do you, what do you reckon? Massive dip. It looks fabulous. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, mate. It, I'm very impressed. Yeah. It really, really looks good. Yeah. I think the point I've ever done to my boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're doing a good job. He's actually Rob's yeah. really good to work with too actually. Did they do the other one further down? Yeah. Well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah now it's impressive. Really good. Yeah. He's putting water on it now. When did you start doing the wrapping Oh, first? this is about five years ago when we moved here. Yeah. And, uh, the opportunity, all the white boats, and thought, yeah, we need to put some colour on these boats. And is it becoming more popular? Definitely more and more. I'd never heard of it before we came here. This will be the third one, fourth one in, a, in about two weeks. Yeah. So it turns an old boat into a. It does, it looks flash. Tree. Yeah. And at a fraction of the cost of getting it painted. Something else we were doing for a fraction of the cost was making our own fender covers. These were essential to protect our vinyl wrap and were made from the legs of tracksuit pants and pajama bottoms. So I just put it on, it's inside out, I'm folding it over, I'm making a big seam in there and it doesn't have to be pretty and this isn't marine grade and this isn't marine grade, this isn't marine grade thread or marine grade material but that is marine grade. That's marine grade. But, uh, <coughs> yeah, at $4 for one, well, for a pair of 
five dollars for a pair of pajama bottoms. So two dollars per fender cover. You know, you're probably going to get at least a year out of this for two dollars. That's not bad, is it? Pretty good. I don't think so. Anyway, so now the moment of truth. I'm going to push this thing through. Hopefully. Oh, here it goes. Feeding it through and out the other side. Where am I? So I left a little gap at the bottom here. And there it is. Look at that. What could be simpler? And then you tie tie a knot in this. And look. Genius. Yeah. So Bob's just, your uncle Charlie's your aunt. Your uncle Charlie's your aunt. There you go. Tie that bit. And that is a very reasonably priced fender cover that I think dirt oh, thank you very much so and this isn't my idea this is actually I can't take the credit for this this was the people next door to us who also got their um, boat wrapped and she I, we had no idea we had to get fender covers <coughs> she told us Victoria and Tony Victoria that's it Victoria and their boat Latitude. 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 With the dolphins on the side. Yeah. There we go. Cut that off. Bam. Ta -da. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Makes a lovely earring too. <laughs> With only two days until the return to the water, Rob and Declan were spending long hours attaching the strake or bumper down the side of the boat. A job that looked like it would be the work of a moment turned out to be a real pain in the derriere. Caught in the act. Robert, why are you in that thing? So I'm going to put up the strike, the rubber strike that's going to go across here. It's going to go the full length of the boat. And we've got this, you get them from um, Vetus. And they have these, it's basically a kind of a fender, I suppose, of sorts. But the old one was so shot. So now I have to mount this on here and it's going to be an absolute mission. I know it's going to take ages, and the guys from um, the design have said we could very generously use this. It will help us a lot, and we get it straight and true and beautiful. Lovely. Yeah. And just as the rain starts. Yeah. Yeah. And <coughs> today is Friday. We were going to go in today. But yesterday we booked it for tomorrow, Saturday. Then we put it to Monday. Now we've put it to Tuesday. Oh, have we now? Yeah. Okay. Because we've got extra work to do, I've discovered, and we have to leave it on here. I'm hoping you don't go into lockdown. I'm hoping, to lockdown so yeah. I'm hoping so too. I'm hoping so too. So, the boat's looking beautiful, eh? Yeah. Looks lovely. So, I was going to that, roughly to that edge, and then I found the 11 is the mark point. Yeah. Perfect. It's a 20 meter length, but it cut into 2 times 10 meters. Because believe it or not, there's two sides to this boat. What? True. True story. No. Yep. I'll show you. I'll show you. Is it straight? Straight as. <laughs> oh, we need the hose, eh? Right? Can I grab the hose? Okay, I'll grab the hose. I'll live on the edge. The lovely people at Print Image Signs have lent us their little carrier thing so we can finish putting on the rubbing strip. And it's gone to Rob's head. He's become a bit crazy with the uh, machine. He's circling the boat right now. We're in the whale of time out here. It's always bonding time. Right. Back on the screen, says Declan. Drill a hole, mate. Drill a hole. Mate, no, you're almost as good at drilling holes as I am. Oh, that's so satisfying. That is just... Drilling holes is just so awesome. What did you get for a Christmas present once, Declan? 
A hammer and nails. A hammer and nails, even in a block of wood. <laughs> and that was the that was the uh, downfall of our um, dresser. Yeah, the dresser took the brunt of it. <laughs> Christmas. The uh, walnut, I think, isn't it walnut? Dresser? Oh, the walnut dresser, yeah. You never look back, have you, Dexter? Never look back. When the world is unsteady, the ground beneath me shaking. I keep asking people questions, but nobody seems to know. But I can move steady when the wind blows. The rhythm strong inside me. Hold myself tightly when the heat goes. Raise the blinds, cover in the window. It's been a labour of love, hasn't it, boys? Oh, it's been fun. It's been good fun. Can you show me, Ivan Declan, without words, just using your face? Show me how much fun it's been. And, Isn't um, it about as much fun as putting on the trampoline? I was just going to say, almost as challenging as the trampoline. This trampoline has been an absolute pain in the ass. That's right, it's been a pain in the ass. It looks like an easy job, it turns into it turns being... Into a major. Yeah. Now we've got to put the inlay in. The finishing touches, putting the, the inlay in. So oh, Deccan, you, you've been very helpful there. <laughs> That's very helpful. It's actually going oh, quite easy. That. That's really nice. It's going oh, really look at easy. that. I'm surprising. That's very good. Well, I can move steady when the wind blows. The rhythm strong inside me. Hold yourself tightly when the heat goes Raise the blinds, cover in the windows I'm coming out of the dark I'm coming up from the ashes After a flat out week of manic preparation for our relaunch we were exhausted but happy to be returning to the water but we weren't going anywhere just around the corner to the more escapable realm of the Boatworks Marina, where we completed our refit at Level 3 Lockdown. Join us next week as we crunch the numbers to discover the real cost of a lightning strike to our electronics. If you enjoyed this episode, please comment, give us a thumbs up, and best of all, share it. It helps us heaps.